Beginnings 93. What's up, DBB 93 squad? I want to thank all our new subscribers for subscribing, as well as our old subscribers for coming back. This will be our Divine Masculine Not in Contact reading from July 30th until August 3rd. So, let's get started. We got the Knight of Cups. Temperance, the Six of Cups, the Fool card, and the Six of Pentacles. A lot of sixes getting thrown around. Okay, so let's just go into it, right? I feel like some of you Divine Masculines that are not in contact, you're dreaming of how you will bring your cup towards your divine feminine. Now, before, um, I forget which reading it was. We had the temperance card with the back. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. It was like this. That means it was stop, yield, don't go forward. Everything was cautioning you to stop. Now, you have the temperance card where you are able to move. You have went through the work of balancing out your emotions this situation everything is starting to be balanced we have the six of cups because it's of reconciliation um i feel like it's also being light-hearted towards the situation um understanding that once you come back to your divine feminine she may be mad and she may not want to get into those heavy conversations right away she may want to yell at you she may want to go off but i feel like this is you being open to whichever way she receives you and i think you're going through the moment of understanding that no matter how she receives you as long as she receives you you're okay you have the full card because you want to take this leap of faith into the unknown you're not afraid you're very aware that things could mess up along the road and things could go left or right, but you want this to be what you go after. You're setting your sights and you're taking full charge. You have the Six of Pentacles. Now, I feel like with the Six of Pentacles, it's a little different here. It's you making sure that you have what you need to get to where you need to go. I feel like the Six of Pentacles is of your work. And that's not a bad thing at all. That's a good thing that you are concerned about that because even though you're ready to go into the food cart, you're ready to take this leap of faith, you're still thinking logically. Okay, let's just slide them over. Let's keep going. Hey, you got the Six of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, and the Empress. Ooh. Okay, so with the Six of Wands and the Five of Pentacles, this is you coming out of isolation this is you moving forward but moving forward in victory because you're coming out of a war basically um heartbreak deceive or deceiving people um not you but i mean some of you could have been a deceiver but i feel like people were deceiving you in a situation but this is you feeling stuck when it comes to the Empress. And I feel like the reason why you're feeling stuck is because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what she's going to do. You don't know how it's going to fall out. Again, you guys, take what resonates. Let what doesn't fly bye-bye. Um, even if the situation is vice versa, 
with the he or she, but y'all know what to do. But I feel as though you're stuck because you don't know how to approach your empress. You, It's like you're looking at her and she's like taking care of business. And it's not that you're not taking care of business, but it's you putting her on that high pedestal that you felt like you can't reach. Let's see your blockages. King of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Ace of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Sun card. So, your blockage is you paying attention to the material world. I feel like some of you... The way you want to come forward is with everything together. The situation you're in, you're choosing to be in this situation. You're choosing not to pick a direction. You're choosing to wait to make things on the material plane better for yourself. I mean, it could tie into this situation, but I feel like that's, one of your complete blockages because you feel like you don't have enough to present to carry on. Just like they say um, in society, a man's supposed to take care of the family. And I feel like that's what you keep going back and forth with. But to me, this, this three of wands is still being stuck. Um, it's like you're wavering back and forth in between your decisions. One moment you got two of wands, the next moment you got three. So it's like, okay, should I go this way? Should I do this? How should I do that? Should I do this? Should I do this? This could be, um, connecting or taking action towards your divine feminine Like, over something? Could be over text messages. Over the internet. That's a form of wire. Um, someone could be sending a letter. I feel like this is the three of wands have to do with communication. But you're not for sure how to go about it. So you keep going back and forth in your head on how to take on that energy. You have the Ace of Wands with the Eight of the Seven of Pentacles, excuse me. Your blockage is action. Your blockage is sitting too long and waiting instead of taking the action, taking the guidance that you're given. And it's not to say that you're passing up the situation. I feel like some of you don't know that you actually got that guidance to move forward. And some of you are, you're just still sitting still. I feel like saying anything you want to do, you can put your mind to it. Feeling stuck is a mindset. It's not that you're actually stuck because if you look at it, you've been progressing this whole time. You're sitting still not taking this leap of faith into this new beginning. The sun card. Things want to take off. So now let's see what your action is going to be towards this situation. You have the hermit card. You're going to go within to figure out how you want to go about this. Have justice. You need to tell someone something that will bring them clarity. 
I feel like it would bring both of you clarity, but mainly that other person that's contemplating about you. As soon as that happens, you go into the will of fortune. You things start turning for you. You um you could be seeing things turn for you now. It could you could feel more lighthearted, like a little more energy now. You probably don't feel like as down as you used to. That's a great thing. The next thing you have is the Eight of Swords. So this is clarity for both of you, whoever you're thinking about. Taking action, making moves, moving into this new beginning, not being afraid to move into this new beginning, having courage. You have the Three of Cups, Celebration, this could be um, a get-together, but I feel like it's, it's celebration. The lovers, the hierophant, mm -hmm. the knight of swords, the two of pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, you have the nine of wands. So I feel like the nine of wands is you being afraid of rejection from your divine feminine. But you want a higher commitment in this situation. You want things to move forward. You want to walk into the door of happiness. Let's get you guys an oracle, and we will be ending this reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up yet, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel please go ahead and subscribe if you like to leave a comment you're more than welcome if you subscribe to the channel please make sure your bell notifications are turned on so you can be informed each time i upload a video okay so you have two cards um it says i choose love no matter what and then you have i am the dreamer of my dream I will see you guys in the next readings. Bye.